Hello my lovelies! Uh, welcome to Assorted Sundries or you know Yard Talks with Torin. Uh, yeah so <laughs> I really need to get the uh, the the microphone for this. I need to research and figure out how to get that. Any hoodles. Um, hi! So we're outside. You might hear some kids yelling already. They shouldn't be out of school unless it's teacher work day maybe. Good night, children. Any hoodles. Hi. So, um, yeah, we're outside because, you know, I never know what to do on Fridays. Per the huge, uh, I'm matching the house today. Uh, I match the house most days since it is my favorite color. Um, yeah, it's real, real hot here. <laughs> like, real hot. Uh, we're going to be hitting the 100 degree mark. Uh, this weekend, here comes the sun, that's the sunglasses, um, and the Beatles song, uh, George Harrison wrote it. He was my favorite Beatle, because, you know, yeah, any hoodles, <laughs> tangents much. Uh, yeah, so, um, I have an idea for one of the vids for August. I had an idea, it was actually Joanne, hi Joanne, um, that, uh, yeah, she's got fine hair, and she wanted to know if there was anything she could do about the scalp cleavage, uh, which you guys know. It's not, we're not talking about, like, parts, but when you pull your hair up, and then all of a sudden your scalp is shining through, which I know my girls with fine and or thin hair uh, suffer from. Um, I'm going to see if I can make it work on the old man. Um, as in, like, my old man has fine hair, but it's not thin. So I don't know if it is just for fine hair or if it's specifically thin hair. Um, although even I get it sometimes if I'm putting my hair in a direction that it's not normally supposed to be in and now there's a helicopter. Y'all, it's crazy. It's been absolutely silent all day, but as soon as I turn on the camera, chopper, is that an Apache? I don't know. Anyways, there's a lot of uh, military bases in Virginia. I think we have Air Force, Navy, uh, Army, and the Marines are there by the Navy, and there's a coast, so I'm sure there's Coast Guard stations too, so I'm sure we have everything. Any hoodles, hi. Uh, sorry about the loudness. So, um, scalp cleavage. Yeah, so like, even sometimes I get it if my hair is not freshly washed, and um, I'm moving it in a way that it's not normally going to be in um but it's not as much of a problem for me because i got a ton of hair so uh i'm gonna see if i can make it work on the old man and then maybe he'll sit for us so i can demonstrate some ways to combat it um because like even like my little baby niece who has you know corn silk hair because she's five and you know that real thin blonde silky it looks like corn silk yeah, um, I can I can make hers though the the scalp the scalp cleavage doesn't show when you do like high ponies and stuff. You just need a really really soft brush uh, to kind of tame your hair into the right direction and make it real smooth. So uh, I'm gonna see the old man will usually let me fiddle. So uh, maybe he'll help. <laughs> but like I said, he has a ton of hair, even though it's real fine and silky. Um, so. We'll see if it works. It's an idea. Um, it's too bad one of my fine-haired ladies doesn't live near me. I just make you do the vid with me. <laughs> do I have any of you in the Richmond, Virginia area even remotely close? <laughs> remotely, you know, within 30 minutes or so? Uh, I don't know. Um, yeah, that would be cool. You could be a guest star while we figured out how to... Anyways, okay. I don't think... I do. I know I have uh, Pandora, but she got a ton of thick hair, so that wouldn't work. Um, yeah, so that's an idea for next month. Uh, we still have a week left in this month, of course, but, uh, you know, I'm trying to get ideas set up so I don't feel so overwhelmed, you know, in the coming months kind of thing. Uh, what else? 
Um, yes, I already have uh, my my patrons, my beloveds. Uh, we already know what we're doing for next month's experiment, which is groovy. I got that all set up uh, because I find that it's really nice to get a lot of other input other than mine when we try things. Um, especially things to do with hair or skin or any of that kind of stuff because you know mine's one type y'all don't have the exam the exact same type of stuff that i'm dealing with um but one of my beloveds is probably pretty close uh to what you're dealing with so it's nice to get input from a wide variety of ladies um and gentlemen <gasps> Yes, uh, one of my ladies, her uh, husband is a long hair. And uh, yeah, uh, the experiment that's coming up, which I'm not going to tell you about yet, um, yeah, uh, is something that he deploys on the daily. So uh, I already have input. Yes, um, and his hair is awesome. Um, and I did get a picture of the back of his head. Uh, everybody just say thank you to Akasha. Um, I have no idea what the front of him looks like, but from the back, the hair is glorious. Um, boy hair, man. Boy hair is so nice. I think it's because they don't torture it. Um, our our long-haired guys, most of us know, uh, they just let it grow. They don't blow it out. They don't dye it, usually. Uh, a few of them do, though. I have a couple A couple of my dudes. You guys dye, like, fun colors and stuff, so, yes. Um, yeah, but, you know, I guess standard bro hair, my, my, my bro dudes, uh, with long hair. Uh, yeah, it's basically virgin, so it's just beautiful because it's never been tortured. Uh, boy hair, man. Um, any hoodles. It's a short one today, folks, because it's already hot. I'm going to start. Yep, I'm sweating already, aren't I? Oh, yeah. Um, sitting in direct sunlight and all. Uh, yeah, but, you know, got to gotta put a video out. So, I'm putting a video. Oh, I did my nails. Ooh, um, it is a turquoise metallic. Um, it's not even turquoise. It was actually a dark blue. It was something. It's one of those, I uh, can't remember what they're called. From Five Below, though, like finger paint. It's not finger paints, but something from five below. The bottles are shaped like this. It's ancient, and it's a metallic that held up. And then I put on a pure ice glitter and I think a Sally Hansen quick dry glitter. Anyways, look at them. <gasps> oh, aren't they awesome? Ooh, so sparkly. I have an obsession. My toes do not match <gasps> because they're still painted uh kind of a hollow purple and i'm not showing you you don't need to see my feet how are my feet holding up you were wondering um after the uh, big old foot peel it all finally peeled off it took a good two and a half weeks to get all of the skin off finally uh, my calluses are there uh, but you saw that it didn't completely take them off but i have been using pumice stone and stuff so my feet are still clean and not stained <laughs> <laughs> which is nice. I just pumice when I take a bath. Um, when it's still, like, I get out, sit on the side of the tub, and then get all the ucky dead skin off my feet. Well, that a pumice stone will take off your feet anyway. So, uh, yeah, they're, they're in good shape. They still look nice in flip-flops. They're not crackly and gross, so that's good. I'm at least taking care of them for the summer-ish, sort of, what have you. All right, um... I'm going to head back in before I die in this heat. Uh, I've even put up, uh, you know, the, the black cloth that I, the, my sparkly fabric uh, for when I set up for my vids. Um, it is o actually over my front window to keep the house cool. Our air conditioner should have been, we have a heat pump. Um, so it's our central air. It should have been replaced probably three years ago, but we've just been limping it along. Uh, <laughs> we really need a new one. So this summer has been, um, well, this spring was hot, so it's been kind of working overtime. Uh, yeah, so I've just put up dark stuff on all the windows and things to keep the house cool so our heat pump won't die in the middle of July. <laughs> That would not be good because July is not our hottest month. That's usually August into September. Um, 
Yeah, even though we're hitting 100 this weekend. Uh, I think it's like 98 right now. <laughs> awesome. So I'm going to go in for a burn because I don't have any heat protectant on. <laughs> I don't have any sunscreen on. So there I go. Um, I will see you guys on Monday. Uh, maybe something exciting will happen over the weekend. Who knows? It could happen. Probably not. I think we're going to hide in the house out of the heat. Um, but hey, it could by some miracle. Any hoodles. I will see you guys on Monday. Have a great weekend. Be good at it. Love you guys. Bye.